Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk through uh, the Amazon Object Oriented Design interview question. Uh, this question was very popular. Uh, that was asked by um, by many interviewers. So take, let's take a look at the uh, question and what's asking. So uh, we need to design uh, a Unix file search API to search a file with different arguments, such as extension, name, sizes, uh, etc. And the design has to be uh, maintainable to add uh, new constraints. And also we are giving a follow-up. Uh, how can we handle if some constraint should uh, support or and conditions? So um, yeah, we, we, we are not supposed to be over, over engineered. Um, there are code in here. This is in uh, Java. Uh, I, I will leave uh, the link in the description down below and uh, you can take a look at it later on. But I'm going to walk through my solution in Python. And also I want to talk a little bit about the, uh, the question. So um, this question was on, on mentioned in Glassdoor. As you can see, uh, this person uh, interviewed as a uh, SDE role in Amazon. Uh, it says uh, object, -oriented, uh, object oriented design. A uh, YouTube class to search file recursively. So basically, it's talking about uh, the, the DFS, and we have to make sure it's extendability and use abstract uh, based class. And uh, yeah, DFS is exactly what I was mentioned. So, and uh, you mentioned in uh, Glassdoor and also another decode block. Uh, oh, not this one, this is vending machine. So, this one. Uh, Amazon on-site uh, Linux uh, file command. So it's pretty much the same idea uh, as we mentioned. And I'm going to leave the link in the description down below and then you can uh, browse it. And uh, when, I, when I go through a uh, little blog post, is the solution are in um, Java. And um, this has a very really good summary of what we need to do. So we need to consider uh, uh, the, all the files in a directory structure and also the root path is the starting point and uh, also we need to do a bfs and all dfs and um, also uh, we have to filter out all the files to satisfy the file come out requirement and then we add it to the result and then return so um let's dive into the code together and the implementation so um we need to have a class object for file um, and what attribute we need is the file name. The file name looks like this. Justice League underscore 15 dot txt or Star Trek underscore 4 dot txt. So we need file name, the size, also the children that is uh, falls under the, uh, the directory. And also if this is a, a directory or not, so how can we do that? to check if that's a directive so uh, we have to check we will check if the the dot is in the file name or not right if there is a dot in the file name that means it's in the directory and uh, otherwise it's not and also all the children yeah falls under the directory and also the extension so the extension basically scan through um this little extension that falls under the dot so uh, this is the, what we need for um, the file class. And also we have to have a, a representation uh, that basically just nothing fancy in here, just uh, have an internal file name. And um, also we, and then after this uh, file class, we, as, because we have to do the filtering, right? Um, it's just a requirement, right? So we have to search for file with different argument. So basically this is the filtering. Uh, so how we how we do that? We have we need a a, a master class, a, a filter. Um, so the init and apply is, is just void method, and then uh, this is the master class. We need to have a uh, a child class uh, that inherit this master class. We have the min size filter. So basically, we um we have to filter out all the si the file size that is greater. Is greater than the, the 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 size that we're looking at, 
and also the extension filter. So basically, we're checking the extension is exactly what we're looking for. So again, this is also a uh, a inherent class of this master filter class. So after we have this um, filter class and also the file class, we need a file system. And uh, this is where we implement the or filtering and the uh, and filter. Uh, I'm going to walk through the code with you and then I will go through some example with you to get, uh, and so show you some data for test cases as well. Um, and this is not a, uh, leak, a standard leak code problem, but this is on the discussion board. So I, I think there's uh, some value. Um, I, I heard a lot of discussion uh, on the forum saying that this question was asked. So that's why I just take the opportunity to discuss with you guys. And uh, the filter system, um, we need a uh, filters attribute for this filter system. And also we need a method to do uh, add the filters. So this is allows us to do um, uh, uh, maintainable and flexible. We can just um, put add more filter to the filters below which belongs to this filter system. Uh, if if that given filter is belongs to the master class, uh, yeah, and then we add master filter class, and then we add it to um, uh, to the filters, uh, the file systems filter by appended to it, right? Because we initiate an empty list and then we append to it. And now we do a uh, or filtering uh, by using this function. And um, we have, we will do a DFS on it. Okay. And if the root that we are given is a, is a directory and uh, we don't have to do the rest because this is not a, we don't append it to the result. This is only a directory. And for that directory, we, for all the children that in the directory, and then we do a DFS on it. That's how we do it. And, um, if this is a, uh, not a directory, that means it has a dot something at the end. And what we do, we just, uh, apply the future, right? For all the future that is in the, that is available. And, uh, we, as soon as one future, the condition and the one future is satisfied, we apply and then we append it to the result. Okay. And this is how we apl uh, apply the or filtering because as, as long as we see one condition satisfied and then we append to it and then we return and then don't, don't have to uh, continue the for loop. So this is how we do the or filtering. And for the and filtering is very similar. Um, as soon as once condition is not satisfied, and then we return. Otherwise, means that all the condition uh, are satisfied when we execute this statement, and then we append to the result. Okay, and uh, and why we can, we have, we can do like filter dot apply because when we return, right for the mean size filter, so we return a, a true or false boolean. So if the file size is greater than the what is needed. So we return a true, otherwise we return the false. And for the extension file filter, and uh, if the file's uh, extension is exactly the same as the uh, extension that we're looking for, and then we return the true, otherwise false, right? So um, again, this is the OR implementation. This is the end implementation. So let's look at some data and tell some test cases. And uh, we have a, um, and then the DFS started from the, from the root. And then we have the uh, result, the uh, list that we will uh, return at the end. And uh, we have this uh, files and also uh, directory. Um, so we have a root 300 and uh, the size is 300. So I, I make, I made the, I put the file name as a part of the name, a file size as part of the name. So it's make it easy for us to, for us to keep track of later on. And you will see, you will, you will see why um, I, I do that when I run through the test cases. And uh, so we have the root 300, we have fictions, uh, size of, of size 100, action of size 100, comedy of size 100. So uh, F, uh, this corresponds to F2, 3, and 4, and they are all belong to the uh, F1, which is the, um, the root 300, size of 300. So, uh, for, uh, F2, which is fiction, and we need, uh, we have a Star Trek 4, 
uh, which is a size 4, it is a TXT file, XML file uh, for the Star Wars, and size of 10, Justice League, and size 15 of the TXT file, uh, Spock, and size 1 of J JPEG. So, and all this file it belongs to uh, the F2, which is a Fiction 100. Okay. And then we have an RMN of size 9, it's a TXT file, Mason is impossible of size 10. Which is a RAR file, the law of rings of uh, size 3, it is a zip file, and all of them belong to F3, which is a action uh, of size 100, and which is a folder, which is a uh, directory. And also, uh, the la uh, lastly, we have a big band 3 of size 4, a TST file, American compile of size 6 of the MP3 file, and then both of these files belong to F4, which is a comedy of size 100, which is directory again. And after we have all this setup of the data test cases, and uh, we can uh, create some filter. So uh, um, one, the first filter I have is the uh, greater five uh, filter, which is a minimum size filter, which is a um, uh, from this class. So the filter we're looking at is a size of five. So we are looking for the file size has a size greater than five. And also we have a extension filter and I call it the text filter. We look at the TXT file and then we initiate a, a file system. I call it my file system. And then we add to the, this, the two files to it, to the my file system. Okay, now uh, we can apply to the or our filtering and we can apply them and filtering. And after we do that, as you can see all the possible files, that is satisfied one of these uh, two filters will get a uh, display down below here. And um, it's also displaying all the intermediate steps. Uh, but actually, the, the last one is, is what we need. So as we can see, um, the file that you get filtered out is either is a TXT file or has a size of greater than five. Um, also, uh, you, can, you don't see any directory anywhere in here, okay, because uh, there is an else statement that if that's a, not a directory, we will execute uh, uh, appending. Otherwise, you just keep uh, working on the child, the uh, children. And as you can see, uh, this file is a TST file. We add to it, and this file has a size of 10, which is greater than 5. We add to it, just did this leak, uh, which is a TST and also is greater than 5. That's why we add to it. And RMN is a TST file, also has a size of 9, greater than 5. And uh, Mission Impossible, even though it's RAR, but it's size of uh, 10, which is greater than 5, and etc. right? Big Bang Theory is TST, and American Pie is size 6. So uh, it successfully executed and also filled out all the required uh, files that has a um, one of these two conditions, or both. And uh, for the end implementation, and uh, it's a lot smaller of a subset, right? So. Uh, it has to be a uh, text at the same time. It has to be a um, a uh, size of greater than five. And in this case, we have only Justice League and also Iron Man and uh, nothing else. For example, Star Trek the size is not big enough. Star Wars is uh, the extension is not TSD, so it does not fall under the, our required uh, category. And um, yeah, so that's my implementation to this Amazon uh, frequently asked interval question. I hope you like it. If you do, please like this video and consider subscribing the channel. That would be a huge encouragement to me to create future videos looks like this. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.